So if I had this cut out and I wanted to replace it with something else, if I alt click and drag and drop, well, that's not exactly what I want. So on this channel, I'd like to talk about removing manual work and creating efficiencies in your workflow, especially for sports creatives, so that you can get some time back and focus more on custom content or heck, even get some downtime for yourself. Today, we're gonna talk about making your imagery fit into a social ready post without any manual work. So the way that we're gonna do this is by adding expression on the scale property and having it look at the size of the comp relative to the size of the image so that it can fit the image within the comp. If you're finding this content valuable, I'd appreciate it if you subscribed and hit the bell icon so that you can get all future tutorials. So with that being said, let's jump in. So if I had this cut out and I wanted to replace it with something else, if I alt click and drag and drop, well, that's not exactly what I want. So that's what I wanna talk about today. Ultimately, we would like this to look more like this without having to do any manual adjustments. So let me undo. And the reason this is happening is my sizes here of the pictures, which is pretty common, can be varying sizes. So as you can see up here in my info panel, this one's almost 8,500 by 5,700. If I go down here, you're gonna just see, watch these numbers up here. You're just gonna see them change pretty drastically. Some are much wider than others, some are taller, but a whole bunch of different sizes here. So this is what we wanna solve for. We wanna be able to click any of these with the variable sizes here and click and drag and drop. So the way that we're gonna do this is by adding expression on the scale property. So if, quickly, if I hit Command K to pull up my settings, you're gonna see that we're at 2160 by 2160. This is actually from my How to Animate Sports for Social series that I created and posted here. So if you are interested in jumping more into motion, go ahead and check that series out. I'll include the playlist in the description. So let's go ahead and jump into our player cutout. Hit S to reveal the scale and alt click on the stopwatch here to add an expression. Now there's gonna be a couple parts to this expression we're going to add an X, a Y, and an S. And those are all made up terms. But ultimately, what, what you need to understand is that we have an array here on scale. And there's two parts to this array. This is the first and this is the second. What we need to keep in mind is that we need to return exactly what we see here. So at the end, we need to have two identical numbers set up in an array. So let's go ahead and, and start by adding the X and the Y. So this is the X, this is the Y. If I turn off my link there, if I scale here, you know, scaling on the X and scaling on the Y, and we obviously don't want that. So let's click in here, and we're gonna add a variable X, and this, this is not a reserve term, so you can put whatever you want as X. And what we want to do is look at the comp width, so I'm gonna type 100 times this comp dot width. So it's going to take 100% of the comp width. So we know that to be 2160. And if I hit Command K, width is 2160, height is 2160. So we want 2160. And then we want it to look at this layer dot width. So we're gonna have, we're gonna take the full width of the comp and divide it by the layer's width. All right, and Y is going to look almost identical with the primary difference here. So I copied and pasted this whole thing. And if I double click here over width, it's just gonna highlight that because there's a period and a slash there. So Let's change that to say height and do the same thing with this one over here because we're looking at why it's looking for height. All right, so now if I return an array and just type X, Y, nothing happens because the image is the same size as the comp. But if I select a different one, 
drag and drop, you can see that it's getting squished because the scale is taking, it's, it's matching. Hold on, if I click on here, she's 6,016 by 416, but our comp is square. So this would have to be 4,016 by 4,016 or the other way around in order for this to look right. So we have to solve for that. Since we don't want to distort the image, we need to add another variable. So we're gonna add variable. I like to call this S for scale. And we're gonna use math.max. And let's go down here and select this one. And this is where we wanna input the X and Y. And make sure to add the semicolon at the ends of all of these. So S is going to look between X and Y and say, which one is bigger? And when you work on social with more vertical assets, it's almost always going to be the Y that is the max. All right, so now to fix this, I just need to change this to S and S because I want the same exact number to be input for both the X and the Y in the scale property. So, Easiest way to do that is to include the S here and then make that as both the X and the Y so that we can return that array here that it, it's expecting. So now when I click off, you can see that it comes back as expected. So now if I highlight this and I try to change it out for other images, it's going to stick. And I'm gonna get the image that I would like based on these. 